Hi beauties and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I slayed this wig and made it look like it was growing out of my scalp. <laughs> if you'd like to find out more, then just keep watching. Before I get started, if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for joining me for today's video. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button as well as turn on the notification bell. That way you won't miss any of my uploads. So you guys know that I do love myself some virgin hair. I was contacted by this company. They asked me if I wanted to review one of their wigs. This is V Show. Of course, I said yes. I'm going to just tell you a little bit of information about the wig really quickly and then I'm gonna move on to how I styled this wig so this is a 4x4 lace closure wig it is loose deep wave Malaysian texture and it is 22 inches 180 density which is why it is super full first let me just say I'm loving 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 the hair but let me talk about what I'm gonna show you guys in this video and then we'll go from there instead of my typical initial reviews for this hair I wanted to do some Something different so I decided to show you guys how I style the hair and I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys the disclaimer throughout the video um, I ain't gonna make up so I decided <laughs> to show you guys how I like to style my wigs I am loving getting these pre-made wigs where I'm not having to sew bundles and do all of that and this one is a great example of a very full pre-made wig whereas normally to get it to this like fullness you would have to sew bundles yourself to get it to be very thick and full but you can see here that 180 density gets you a lot of hair my mind is blown pre disclaimers here i don't wear my wigs and just keep them on for two weeks like some people do so when people are using like the got to be glue to kind of glue the lace down to your forehead and you do all of that i don't do that because i don't keep my wigs on i take them on and off and another reason that i struggle a little bit is that my hairline is actually where where you see this is a little bit of my hair that I've left out. I find that it's difficult when you have a hairline that is full to actually adhere it to your forehead. It just doesn't seem to work as well to me as when your hairline is back a little bit. So I just prefer to blend a little bit of my leave out with the wig to achieve the look that I want that works for me some people don't want to put any heat in their hair or they don't want to try to blend their hair and they would rather you know attach it here that is for you to see on someone else's channel I'm going to show you how I style this wig but be sure to stay tuned because I'm going to give you guys a quick initial review so here's the unit and I have already shampooed this hair and you can tell that it is quite beautiful and I have on the wig cap that was sent to me and I have left out a little bit of my hair and the ends also look beautiful. I have not cut the lace but you can tell that I have bleached the knots for this hair and I'm getting ready to cut the lace. I believe there are four combs in this unit as well as an adjustable strap and here I am adjusting it and I'm moving it over to the side as well as pulling out my leave out. And I'm also attaching the adjustable strap and tucking in the combs in the back. First, I'm going to straighten my leave out to make it easier for me to curl. And then I'm just kind of getting it where I'd like for it to be. And I'm going to take a little bit of the wig unit and mix it with my hair and I'm going to wand curl this hair. I can't remember who makes this wand curler, but I will look that information up and leave it linked down below. So it is quite time for me to touch up my roots, but I also wanted to show you guys a little trick that I use to color any of my gray hair. And it's also something that I use to color the lace that is showing because you can tell when you're watching this that you can see a little bit of the lace in the front but I do have a little trick for that and I'm going to show you guys in a moment so here I'm going to just continue to blend my hair with the wig unit and wand curl it and it will come together and blend seamlessly with these loose curls So 
so this is what I'm going to use to color my gray as well as cover up the lace I'm using the color dark brown and I really wish I had like more of a black or a natural black but the dark brown will do and I'm just going to blend that over my gray hair as well as the lace and that is going to camouflage the lace so you can use any of these types of root cover-up sprays that will do now I'm going to take this multi-use oil by e-cooking and I'm going to just apply this all over the hair as well as my hair and just blend that out as well as begin pulling out the curls and I'm going to just touch up a few places where I see that I still need to add a few more wand curls. Okay, so after I curl the hair, I'm going to slick back my edges just a little bit I do not try to slay my edges because I have very curly hair and anything that I do it just curls right back up so I basically just add a little bit of edge control and just kind of slick it back and here I am creating my part and I'm just kind of parting a little bit of my hair as well as the extensions and blending that together so here I had a wardrobe change because I'm filming multiple videos and I'm just taking this scalp colored eyeshadow and I'm applying it over the lace as well as my scalp to make them blend together a little bit more and make it look more natural. This is an extra step that you don't necessarily have to do but I just like to do it again to make it look more natural. So here I've changed back and I'm just adding a few final touches to the part and we're about done. I'm going to do when I say quick initial review, I'm just going to give you guys a quick initial because I just put this on my head for the first time. The knots were easy to bleach. Sometimes I have to go in twice when I'm bleaching my knots, but this one was perfect. I used a little bit of the purple shampoo to wash out the bleach and it made the lace a perfect color. It matches my scalp really, really well. I really like how this wig fits. I am going to wear this for sure. Sometimes wig caps can be a little bit too tight or too snug for me. This one is perfect. There is like a little bit of a clip in the back where I could clip the wig behind me and I have two combs here and one in the back. That's what I used. There may be other combs <laughs> in the wig, but I used three combs to kind of tuck them in here. Loving that. As you saw in the video, I used my wand to kind of curl some of the hair on the top as well as like blend in my hair. And it did wand pretty well. The curls, you know, still look like loose deep wave curls. It did give me a little bit of body here by straightening and curling using the wand to curl the top but wasn't really that necessary other than to kind of blend the leave out i wanted to see could i wand it and it did wand it did hold the curl i have a little teeny weeny bit of hairspray right here on my hair but i didn't want to put hairspray on the actual extensions i'm loving this texture oh yes i'm loving the texture and i am not experiencing any issues with the hair thus far sometimes malaysian is really really silky and i wouldn't say that this is super silky hair it doesn't quite mimic african-american hair like it's not yakky in texture but it isn't this super silky shiny hair which is good because i don't want it to look like that i want it to have a natural shine but not look synthetic right so it looks natural in that way and i love the curl pattern you saw where i wanted a little bit on the top but the curls that you see here on the bottom that's the curls you know that's the natural curl the ends look great on this hair like you know it's curly hair but i'm not seeing any like jagged ends i think the ends look nice and i love the length of this hair it's beautiful beautiful length for this wavier curly loose wave texture the color looks nice i don't see like gray strands or anything it is 
beautiful. I'm liking this density. I'm really liking the density. And it is, like I said, it's very, very long. But just the textures. Oh, the curls. I'm loving it. It didn't have any smells or any issues with it. It was packaged beautifully. I like to shampoo my hair with Suave Clarifying Shampoo. And I always recommend shampooing it with something like that. Suave is very affordable and is readily available at your local Walmart. The hair just feels nice and soft after using that shampoo. And I use the conditioner as well and it's just so lightweight and it is clarifying so it doesn't leave any residue on the hair. And when it dries, this air dried, you just feel nice, soft hair. The only thing that I have put in the hair you saw was this multi-oil as well as the root cover up that I used here and that was to help with my own gray hairs because it's time for me to touch up my hair but it also helps to cover up any of the lace that is on my hair so there you go <laughs> it also covers up the lace and makes it blend into your hair so again, this company is V Show. I will link them down below. So thank you so much for joining me for today's video. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you have questions or comments, leave them down below and I will respond. And if you've not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button before you leave. So I'll be seeing you guys again very soon in my next video. So until the next time we meet again, this is Savvy signing out.